Okay, so this is a uh, short video on Active Smart inline um, soft start unit. Um, and the reason why I got this is uh, I have a Honda, Honda, sorry, EU 2000. Um, it's a great little generator. However, um, I tried to use it uh, to start the um, air conditioner unit on my travel trailer and it will not start it on its own. Uh, you flip the AC on and it just bogs out and pops the uh, pops the overload on the AC. So I was like, all right, what do you do? Buy a, a, a new generator for, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars um, or um, somehow use uh, the generator that I have, which has been a great generator. I used it on a boat before. So I was like, all right, well, I can get a soft start, but then I'd have to mount it. Um, actually on the AC on the roof. So I found this company, Active Start. I have no affiliation or anything with them, but it's really a smart way to do it. It's just an inline soft starter. So even if you do change your trailer or whatever you're gonna be using it for, um, you could always switch it to your, to your, next, uh, your next project. Uh, it just plugs in line. You just have a little dongle. It plugs right in and uh, that's it. So. I'll just show you, oh, and it also comes with a really cool um, app that shows your uh, voltage, how many watts it's drawing via Bluetooth, and I have it out here, and it, uh, you know, you could read the app uh, inside the uh, uh, RV as well, so, anyway, so let's get this little guy started, I already had it warmed up, so... Alright, so that's with no load on it. They're great generators, really nice and quiet. Um, All right, so first we're going to put the fan on, low, then high. And uh, the watt meter was showing that actually draws 511 watts when that starts. So that's actually a big draw. Um, let that run a little bit. Just let uh, the system stabilize. I guess there's capacitors inside that active start, so I'll let them make sure they're fully charged. Then you put your mode, AC, and there we go. It's got enough, it's got enough to uh, kick it on. Awesome, like it's, to be able to have that generator and now be able to boondock anywhere, um, there you go. Like it's blowing ice cold. So uh, I've already tested it. I ran it like half an hour, um, no problems. Uh, the most it pulls uh, when it's running um, without anything else on in the RV is uh, 1500 watts peak. And it settles in like, between 1400 and 1500 watts uh, when it's running. So yeah, what a great little uh, device, gotta give it to them. And you don't have to go up on the roof and mess with your air conditioner hardwiring it. 